All right. The church has stayed in darkness for so long that she's so sensitive to the light that as soon as any light, I'm talking about truth. Yeah. Any truth is shed. Any truth is shown, they automatically do this. Yeah, it blind. Yeah, they, I, it, it causes I, them pain. Yeah, I, Hide I, from the truth. I, Hide from the light. Because they've been in the darkness for so long mm -hmm. that they can't handle the things. That's why. That's where we cross the line. Used to, I wouldn't have been the weirdo mm -hmm. when I preached against them. Come on. What would have really been crazy if I would went into one of their churches and I stood up there and I said, we're all okay. Yeah. You're okay. I'm okay. We're all okay. Yeah. It don't matter what you believe. Yeah. We're all going to the same place anyway. Mm -hmm. They'd have thrown me out. Yeah. Now you get a church with 40,000 people and if you're the one that stands up and says Jesus is the only way, there's no other way to get there and if you don't accept Him, you're going to hell. You're the one that sticks out like a sore thumb. That's right. When did it happen? Because we fellowship with devils for so long, we became more like the devils than we did the church that we're supposed to be. Come on. And the church believes there's no harm in it. Yeah. Listen to what these people here thought in the Old Testament. Isaiah 28 and 15. Because you have said, we have made a covenant with death, mm -hmm. and with hell are we in agreement. Mm -hmm. When the overflowing, overflowing <coughs> scourge shall pass through, it shall not come unto us. Yeah. Listen to what they're saying. They, they're saying we've made a covenant with death. Yeah. In hell we are in agreement and we're not going to face any consequence for it whatsoever. Mm. No. That could be written into a lot of the tenets of the faith of churches that we have today. Right. No consequence. Right. God's all love. There's never going to be any judgment. Yeah. That's what the devil believes. Amen. Amen. When the overflowing scourge, when judgment comes, it'll pass through. Mm -hmm. It won't come nigh to us. It says, we have made lies our refuge. Mm. And under falsehood mm. have we hid ourselves. Yeah. Well, i got news for you. Your hiding place is about to be invaded. Amen. Amen. That's true. You have stuck your head in the sand for so long, you're about to get a big arrow right in the honey. Amen. Mm. Because fellowshipping with devils and associating with the things of darkness yeah. will cause you great loss and great harm. That's right, brother. It's the condition the church is in today. That's true. Amen. Amen. That's, right. That's why you don't have more people <clears throat> talking about Halloween or the things of the occult. It's simply because they don't see anything wrong. It ain't because they defiantly say, God, I know this is witchcraft. I'm going to practice it anyway. No, they've been deceived into believing it's okay. That's right. Brother. And that happens when you associate, when you begin to fellowship those things of darkness. You, become, you begin to become more like those things. Right. Amen. That's right. Amen. We've talked about Lot more than once. We're going to talk about him next Sunday. Mm -hmm. Good. And I know you think, well, I've heard it, yeah, but I think you might hear a few things you hadn't heard before. Maybe you heard them before and you didn't get them. Mm -hmm. We are talking about the consequences that happen when you fellowship with devils. All right. When you associate with the things of darkness. Mm -hmm. Amen. And they are severe and dire. Amen? Yeah. That's My true. goodness. The devil will steal your soul if you let him. That's right, brother. You will sit on a church pew believing you're okay until you hit hell's fire. Come on. Yeah. Unless you open your eyes and see the truth that is in God's Word today. Mm -hmm. Fellowship with devils. Mm -hmm. Fellowship with darkness will cause you to take on their nature. Mm -hmm. Will cause you to, believe, to begin to believe the things that are contrary to the Word of God. That's right. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. We'll get to page 2 next week. Lord willing. Someone else have something this morning? Yeah. <laughs>